this video, we see how to thicken the edge of a floor and create what we call an upstand to a floor. Using the slab edge tool, we will see how to create new slab edge type to assign a profile and material. An upstand is a generic term for a vertical structure added to horizontal surface such as a floor and a roof. Now I have this model open. I zoom to this area. And now I hover over atrium and searching for my floor in here and go into section box. Now I have better look now on my floor and we want to apply a floor edge in here. Now how to do that? First of all, I need to upload the profile that I want to use for this slab edge. To do that, I go to insert and load Autodesk family. And from the library, I click on the profile I want to use this one concrete rectangular profile, this one. Now I have this profile uploaded. I go to the project browser and in the project browser, I go under family section and now going to family section, I go in a profile. Okay. In here and in a profile, I have my concrete rectangular beam profile uploaded. I check the type I have in here two types. I want to add another type, this type eight inches by 48 inches. I do uh, double uh, right click and duplicate this one and name it eight inches, eight inches by 48, eight by 48. I right click and go into type property and inside type property, I want to enter the height and the width. And for the width, I will enter eight inches and for the height I will enter 48 inches and click in here now I apply and you see my profile change it okay now I go to uh, in architecture ribbon and now searching for in here and floor for slab edge this one and now before starting placing my slab edge on this floor, I edit the type and create a new one for upstand, like upstand and okay. And come into the prof. Now I search for concrete rectangular beam profile. This one that I already created. Okay. And now coming in here, you see that this edge highlighted on click on that and you see that I have in here my uh, slab edge now apply it to this one except that we don't have the same material for that but we will clean that going to project browser go to atrium section and coming in here you see I need to move it up in here to align it with my floor slab and also to add the new material. How to add the new material? It's easy. Select the slab edge, edit, and now go to the material, click on material, and now searching for precast concrete or concrete. And I have this one concrete cast in place click on ok ok and now you see that i have this material now i just select my slab edge and move it to align it with the floor and you see now if we want to have the same material merging together we need to check this one and go into edit type and now go into structure and you see if we want the same material we just select this one control c and come into this one in here edit type go into material and control v apply apply and now you see we have 
the same material applied in this uh, slab edge. Now I go to my my 3D and just select selecting the view and section box on select that and now we have our 3D view back again. Now I have also in this area I want to apply another profile for uh, this. First of all I go to a floor and select slab edge. Now I select another profile for example let's choose this one taking in 24 inches by 12 and apply it in here and in here and now if I don't see the other edge it's easy escape and select this edge slab and this floor and isolate element okay isolate element now you have both this element in here and select the slab edge and create similar and place this one in here place this one in here and you see now I have the slab edge applied now it's left only the material we do the same thing select the slab edge edit and searching for the material in this one just select the material in here Control c and get back to my slab edge in here and edit type and select the material in here Control v and ok and now we have the material apply it and the same now just click on reset temporary and now if you go to atrium section and you see I have my slab edge in here nice and clean that's finished our exercise how to place slab edge